Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the uh, nitration of benzene. Nitration of benzene is another example of an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. The reagents most typically used, uh, though by, these are not by, by any means the only ones out there, are nitric acid and sulfuric acid. There are actually some, some newer advances in this reaction that don't use uh, acids in case you have a, a, an acid sensitive functional group in your molecule. Uh, but we're going to talk about this, which is the, the sort of original case. Uh, the active electrophile in, in this particular reaction is the nit uh, this NO2 plus cation, the nitronium ion. Uh, it has the following sort of structure. I love how my program seems to want to put a fifth bond on nitrogen. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> this nitronium cation is the uh, active electrophile here. Okay, and we're going to find... Uh, oh, you know, we're going to find, actually, as we go through these reactions, that often the electrophile looks very similar to the functional group that we're going to be adding. Uh, this nitronium cation is generated in the reaction of nitric acid with sulfuric acid. And um, so if you've already watched my video on sulfonation, it describes how sulfuric acid can disproportionate in this case. Uh, what sulfuric acid is doing is facilitating or, or the decomposition or dehydration of nitric acid. And so the products over here are the nitronium cation, the hydrogen sulfate anion, and a molecule of water. Just format this really quickly. We'd like to think that all uh, chemistry drawing programs should just take a, a chemical equation and know what to do with it, but mine does not. So here we go. Mechanistically, what this looks like, um, get out here and draw the structure of nitric acid, which is really interesting because it has this um, positive charge on one of its nitrogens and the negative charge on the other, on another, on one of the oxygens, and the resonance has this negative oxygen moving around. Um, <clears throat> And you might think that like the negative to the charged oxygen may be where we're going to end up putting the proton. But if you look at uh, what we need to end up doing, uh, it's sort of simpler if we get the extra proton on the uh, right onto that. Uh, OH group here because that's whoops that's where we need the the leaving group to leave because we want to generate a molecule of water here and this this should look uncomfortable for for a, a brief period of time but I want you uh, to remember that the the negative charge or the formal charges in the nitro group over here kind of balance each other out. And this wacky species is not uh, long for this world. Uh, and it decomposes pretty quickly into water and the nitronium cation. And here I just need this and uh, cation there. And we have water, and I need a, I need a reaction arrow, curved arrow. Here we go, straight arrow, and the, the hydrogen sulfate anion. Once it comes to, to reacting with benzene, this electrophile reacts... Uh, following the same generic mechanism that all electrophiles do. Uh, one of the pi bonds in benzene 
goes after that positively positive charge in the electrophile. Because nitrogen has four, four bonds and doesn't want any more than four bonds, we need to break one of the carbon or one of the nitrogen oxygen bonds. That generates a carbocation intermediate, and that generates it's to look a certain way, and that puts the the nitro group. And I'm going to leave uh, the nitro group in its uh, formal charge, in its full formal charge glory here for a minute. Um, and then something basic in the reaction needs to come and take away that extra proton. And, and then this last time I'm going to condense down the nitro group. Um, you know, all of these reactions require something basic to take away that proton uh, and regenerate the aromatic ring. Uh, and so if we look at all the stuff that we have up here in the reaction, the, the most basic thing that we have uh, in this reaction is water. The water is going to be the base that takes away that extra proton. So here's the mechanism of uh, nitration of benzene. Uh, in the next video, we'll move on to halogenation of benzene. Thanks for watching.